One of the first problems I encountered when I got my glasses wasn't being called four eyes, but it was actually foundation and it's smearing onto my frames and also onto my lenses. I'm sure I'm not the only one, so I created this tutorial to help those who wear reading glasses and also sunglasses on a regular basis. The first step in preventing makeup from smearing onto your frames is primer. Make sure you pay extra attention to the areas around the eyes and nose. Conceal any imperfections with your favourite concealer. And then, once you've done that, move on to your foundation. For the complexion, keep it looking fresh and radiant. And use a buffing brush to blend it well into the skin. Now, onto the brows. Brows are a very important part of this look because they frame your eyes and your face. I personally love fuller eyebrows and I think they really help make somebody look a lot more youthful. To make the eyebrows look fuller, you can do one of two things. Number one is apply a matte shadow through your eyebrows. When doing this, you want to go in the same direction of the hair growth. So if your hair is going upwards, apply the product upwards. If it's going down, then go downwards with a brush or pencil. And you can finally seal in the product by using a brow gel. I personally have full brows and the only thing I really need to do is apply a brow gel through them to help keep the hairs neatly in place. The next step is concealer. This is one of the most important steps. Because everyone's eyes is naturally darkest through the inner corners, when you wear glasses sometimes the darkness increases because of the shadow cast from your frames. Choose a light moisturising concealer for underneath the eye area. You're applying glasses to this area so you don't want anything too cakey that'll make the makeup smear and transfer onto your frames. Blend in the product using your delicate ring finger and then move on to setting your makeup in your base with some powder. My choice of setting powder is by Face of Australia and it's their translucent powder. I absolutely love this powder as it sets my makeup perfectly without drying me out. Pat the product on and lightly dust it. You don't want to put too much product on, less is definitely more. Use an eyeshadow primer and apply this onto your lids and also your lower lids as well. You want to apply your eyeshadow base anywhere that you're going to be applying your eyeshadow. This just ensures that the colour won't crease and will stay vibrant for much longer. Blend the product in using your delicate ring finger and move on to your first eyeshadow colour. I'm using my MAC palette that I put together myself. I'm taking this beautiful pink colour and applying this all over my lids, blending it into the crease. Taking a darker matte brown colour, I'm going to be using this with a tapered brush and carving out my crease. Sometimes when you apply an eyeshadow base or concealer onto your lids, you can sometimes lose this definition because your eyelids look a lot more flat. Apply this product using the windscreen wiper motion, holding the end of the brush and moving your wrists back and forth. Apply this process to your other eye and move on to your highlighter. I'm taking a matte white eyeshadow colour and applying this onto my brow bone and also my inner corners. You want to marry this colour into your crease colour so you can gently blend out the edges and feather it out. Use the remainder product and apply this onto the centre of your lids. For the lower lash line, we're going to be taking the same product that we used to carve out our crease. Apply the product back and forth so you can define the lower lid and the lashes. Next, you want to use a white pencil and line your waterline. This gives the illusion of bigger and brighter eyes, masking the redness throughout the waterline. Taking a creamy black coal pencil, apply this to your tight line. This gives the illusion of fuller lashes. Run the product back and forth looking down. If you get irritated, give your eyes a bit of a break and start again. As you can see, my lashes look a lot fuller just from this step. Apply generous coats of mascara to both your top and lower lashes. Try not to apply too much so we can make them look natural. I personally stop at this step. However, if you find that the eye makeup isn't defined enough, what you can do is take a matte brown or black eyeshadow to line your top lash line and also your lower lash line. Use an angled or soft shader brush to apply the products onto the lid. If you're a beginner, Using an eyeshadow is a lot easier than using a liquid liner or a gel liner. Because the frames are so sharp and bold, you want to keep the eyes nice and soft. Apply this product on the outer half of your lower lash line as well. Apply a peachy coloured blush onto your cheeks, moving it upwards. 
If your face lacks a bit of colour and you're as pale as me, you might want to use the excess product around your face. Because the eyes are the main focus, you want to keep lips nice and simple. Apply a tinted lip gloss over your lips, or if you want, pale out any of your favourite lip colours using a concealer. Please don't use any reds for this look, you might look like an adult actress, if you do. For bold lip colours, I like to reserve those for my sunglasses because you can't really see my eyes. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and I hope that I gave you some useful and fun facts to work with. As always, you can find a list of all products featured onto my website. You can also find me on Instagram, on Facebook and also on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope that you subscribe to my channel for more videos with me. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.